Good morning. Would you like to answer the question? My name is Tony. Nice to meet you. I'm Mercy. Rissy? Mercy. Mercy. Oh, what a beautiful name, Mercy. So, so Mercy, do, do you have do you have a moment to chat? Yeah. Okay, sure. great. Um, you you uh, marked uh, the standards, God. Are you of a particular faith? Yes, I'm a Christian. Are you? I am as well. I am as well. Uh, Mercy, how did you come to faith in Christ? Um, I was saved in the summer of 2016. Oh, really? How did that happen? Um, I don't know. It just God's grace. Yeah. Well, of course it was God's <laughs> grace. Yeah. But how did you come to the realization that you needed Christ? I guess after I'm saved, our whole family, because my parents are saved before me. Uh huh. And then we just entered into the church life. Okay. And yeah. Was there? Um, <laughs> you you mentioned a, a specific time, 2016. Yeah. Um, was there a moment in that time when you realized that that uh, you had sinned against God, and realized that the punishment for that sin was eternity in hell, and that your only hope was salvation? by God's grace through faith in Christ? Was there, was there something that happened in your life or? Not particularly, yeah. I just realized he loves me and I just love him. <laughs> well, well, you know what, yeah, the, the word of God says God, that he is love, no doubt. He is also holy and righteous and just. Uh, the Bible also describes him as being filled with wrath, righteous anger um, against sin. Uh, he is all of those, all of those things perfectly. Um, uh, what are you studying? I'm studying psychology. Okay, and what do you hope to do with that? Be, do you hope to be a psychologist or? Um, no, actually, after I graduate, I'm going to a Bible school for two years. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, is that uh, a Bible school in this area or? It's in California. Which one? In Anaheim. What, what's the name of this? full-time training in Anaheim. The full-time training in Anaheim. What, is that with a particular denomination or? Um, have you heard of the Lord's recovery? So basically, we are like recovering the truth from the Bible, and we're we've been practicing everything according to the Bible. So it's been really sweet. And so, what is, uh, what what does that mean? Recovering the truth of the Bible. What what's been missing? So I don't know if it sounds offensive to you, but I don't mean that way. But um, so for the denominations in the Bible, you know, Paul said the church in Antioch the church in Ephesus, the church in Corinth. Uh -huh. So it's basically a principle, one locality, one church. We're not calling ourselves, you know, a Baptist or Lutheran or anything. Uh -huh. But we're just lovers of Christ. Okay. We're just believers. So Mercy, how would you, how would, if, if you and I were friends, you know, we didn't just meet here, um, but we had been friends for some time, and you're a Christian and you know that me as your friend that I'm not. Mm -hmm. How would you communicate the gospel to me? That's actually been a really, I don't know, a struggle. I, I kind of, because all my friends are non-Christians like uh -huh. on campus, sure. or like most of them. Okay. Sometimes they're like in distress. <laughs> because um, one thing that's been really important to me is I call on the name of the Lord. Because the Bible says those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I would just show them how to call on the name. Uh huh. Just call, oh Lord Jesus. And then exercise their spirit. I would just tell them, you have a human spirit. And cause them to exercise their spirit to know God. Not in formality or in religion. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> if as your friend I ask... Well, why do, why do I need to call out to Jesus? Why do I need to call out to the Lord? Because sometimes they're just, you know, on their own effort, but the Lord has done it. Right, but why would I need to do that? Why do I need Jesus? I don't know, because um, sometimes I just tell them, because they're just, some, some of them are like uh -huh. up deep, and then they're like, oh, you know, everything's boring. I can't, <clears throat> I don't have interest in anything. And I would just tell them, you are not made to be filled with anything on the earth or in the world. 
They were made to contain God. And, and, and what do you mean by contain God? What does that mean? We're a vessel. Because in Genesis 1.26, he created us according to his image and mm -hmm. likeness. Yes, we are image bearers of our creator, no doubt. Yes. And then we're like an earthen vessel to contain him. Because God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit mm -hmm. and truthfulness. That's true. And then we have our human spirit. So our human spirit is like a vessel to contain God. So then we can express God in our daily life. So uh, so who is Jesus to mercy? How, how would you describe Jesus to me? Who, who is he? I don't know. He is, he's my savior. He's my friend. He is, I don't know, you can say a lot of things about him. And he is also God. So, okay. All right, good. So, now if our roles were reversed, okay, and, and uh, we're, again, we're friends, I'm a Christian, and you admittedly are not, you know, as we're role-playing this out, hypothetically. I would say, uh, Mercy, you know that God exists. Uh, God who is the Creator, uh, God who is triune, one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, he has written the reality of his existence on your heart. His, con his creation testifies to his existence, and he's also given you a conscience. He's written his law on your heart. You know the difference between right and wrong, not because of how you were raised or because of what you learned in school or because of the society you live in, but because you are an image bearer of your creator. And as such, God has given you a conscience. You know it's wrong to lie. You know it's wrong to steal. You know it's wrong to take God's name in vain. You know that because, uh, God, again, God has given you a conscience. And you know that the God who made you is not a liar. He's not a thief. He's not a blasphemer as we are. Uh, one day, you're going to stand before this God that you know, this creator, to give an account for your life. And he's going to judge you according to the perfect moral standard, his law that he's written on your heart. And all of us have sinned. All of us have fallen short of God's glory. We may do so in different ways, but we, none of us have lived a perfect life. Even though Jesus said you are to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, none of us can live up to that standard. And so because we've sinned against God, because we've broken his law, God's going to judge according to that and the punishment that God has determined for sin, the violation of his law, is eternity in hell. Now the good news, Mercy, is that God has provided a way of escape from his just and his holy wrath against sin. And, and that is 2,000 years ago, God the Father sent his son to earth in the person of Jesus Christ, truly God, truly man, without sin. He lived a perfect life from cradle to grave that you and I will fail to live today. And at a time appointed before the foundation of the world, Jesus Christ voluntarily went to a Roman cross. He suffered and died a death he did not deserve to take upon himself the punishment you and I rightly deserve for our sins against God. And then he forever defeated sin and death when he rose from the grave. And what God commands of you and me and all people everywhere is that by faith and by faith alone we turn from our sin and turn toward Christ and put all of our faith and our trust in Him and His finished work on the cross um, to receive forgiveness of our sin, to be reconciled to the God who made us, and to receive the gift of eternal life with Him. Yeah. Do you believe that gospel? Yeah? yeah? Well, praise <laughs> the Lord. Praise the Lord. So where are you off to now? Oh, I'm going to class. Well, I really appreciate your Thank time, you. Mercy. God bless you. There's something for you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Come on up. Yeah, this is a booklet that I really enjoy. It's, um... Thank you. It's half English. Well, like yeah, English. right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, you can read through it and then enjoy.
I will. I will take a look at this. Thank you so much. God bless you, Mercy. Thank you for your time.